Have you? We begin in the UK, where judges in London have ruled, uh, blocked, uh, rather, government plans to deport some asylum seekers uh, to Rwanda. Now, the Court of Appeal ruled the plans were unlawful. Rights groups and asylum seekers appealed an earlier decision by another court, which gave the go ahead for the controversial deportation policy. Two of the three courts of appeal judges found that Rwanda was not a safe country. The Rwanda government has taken issue with the ruling, saying. It is one of the safest countries in the world. The decision of the majority, the master of the roles, Sir Geoffrey Voss, and Lord Justice Underhill, the Vice President of the Court of Appeal Civil Division, is that the deficiencies in the asylum system in Rwanda are such that there are substantial grounds for believing that there is a real risk that persons sent to Rwanda will be returned to their home countries where they face persecution or other inhumane treatment when, in fact, they have a good claim for asylum. In that sense, Rwanda is not a safe third country. That conclusion is founded on the evidence which was before the High Court that Rwanda's system for deciding asylum claims was, in the period up to the conclusion of the Rwanda Agreement, inadequate. The Court is unanimous in accepting that the assurances given by the Rwandan government were made in good faith and were intended to address any defects in the asylum process. However, the majority believes that the evidence does not establish that the necessary changes had by then been reliably effected, or would have been at the time of the proposed removals. Well, Arise correspondent Lakbe Olarioye has been monitoring developments and she joins us now from London. Thank you for being here, Lakbe. Now, uh, three judges in London are saying that uh, unless deficiencies in Rwanda's asylum system are corrected, the removal of asylum seekers in Rwanda will be unlawful. Can you tell us more about today's ruling from the court appeal, Lakbe? I didn't quite get your question. The audio is slightly low, but I think I got a sense of that. The ruling has been a long time coming. I mean, it started over a year ago, but it met, of course, it's Waterloo back in December. Um, and since then, uh, we have been waiting for this day to see what the court was going to rule. Uh, they have now, of course, ruled that uh, moving people arriving on small boats in England to a third safe country, that being Rwanda, de they've deemed that as un lawful. Now, the ruling uh, was a split decision, of course. Two of those judges agreed that uh, using Rwanda as a third safe country was actually, in fact, unsafe, whilst the other judge ruled in favour of the government. So uh, it's, of course, the majority wins. Uh, but at the same time, this is not potentially the end of this ruling. But, of course, it's a landmark ruling. It's a ruling that many people, particularly asylum seekers, as well as the refugee charities that took the government to court have been waiting for. And as you can imagine, the reactions have, called, have of course, been pouring in since that ruling uh, came about earlier on today. So very good, uh, Lakwe and Bill, the ruling. Do we know what the government is now going to do on that? Well, we're expected to hear from the Home Secretary, somebody that spearheaded this uh, idea of sending uh, refugees to uh, Rwanda, Mrs. Uh, Suella Braverman. She's supposed to speak uh, later on today at uh, the House of Commons. Uh, but in the meantime, other notable uh, members of parliament have, of course, been sharing their uh, reactions to that, many of whom have said that this is not the end. It's very likely that the UK government will be taking this a step further and playing the long game and taking this to the Supreme Court, where things could change. It's unlikely as of now, because, of course, two of the main judges ruled uh, uh, against it. Um, but that will still probably be in motion. Of course, it's a very uh, tough blow for the Conservative government, who are very much uh, in support of this idea of a third safe country. Um, so it's back to the drawing book for the government. Mm. You know, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is saying that he fundamentally disagrees with the Court of Appeal. But let's talk about what the general reaction has been to today's verdict. Well, you know, this has been an extremely divisive uh, 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 an idea and a, and a ruling, actually. Um, when this idea was brought up, like I said, 
just over a, a year ago. It divided the nation. Many people were for it. A lot of people were also against it. Now, those people against it, of course, were uh, a lot of the charities that deal with people that come from uh, war-torn countries, uh, countries where their lives are under danger, um, and have been housing and supporting these uh, asylum seekers. And so for them, this is a victory. They have expressed that over and over again. A number of charities have expressed how happy they are at this result. And of course, it's a win, as they describe, of reason and justice. Now, on the other hand, we have a lot of British people, um, many who have been dialing into popular radio stations and so on, and expressing uh, their dismay at this and stating that the country is in a crisis, uh, an immigration crisis, and that needs to be dealt head on predominantly because of the pressure that uh, opening up the borders has led to increasing waiting lists on healthcare services, as well as housing as well. So uh, for many people, um, it's a win, um, but some people, they think it should be revised. And that is predominantly why the government are saying that they'll be taking this further uh, to the Supreme Court. Now, let's talk a little bit about, very quickly, about Rishi Sunak's response. Of course, this has been a very integral part of his of his, uh, of his mandate, of his campaign, especially because uh, there will be elections here at the end of next year. And so for a Conservative government that's under a lot of pressure, um, immigration is at the top of their agenda or one of the things at the top of their agenda. And so this has come at an awful time. Very good, Lakwe. Just before you go, uh, do you see a likely spike in uh, asylum seekers and, of course, uh, migrant uh, activities into the UK on account of this uh, ruling so far? Now, you know, that's a very good question you asked. It's put there's a potential that that could be the case, particularly because, I mean, this might surprise you, but people who are trying to embark on those journeys are very much abreast of the situation at the destination country that they're arriving in. When this ruling uh, was said to come up, the numbers did reduce. And actually, when we were told that it was going to go for the second round uh, of court hearings, uh, we saw the rise uh, of, the, of the number of people arriving on small boats go up. I mean, just last year, 45,000 people arrived on small boats. And that's, of course, when we were in limbo regarding this. This will potentially um, raise alarm for those smugglers bringing people in. Um, I've spoken to many people um, who have embarked on that journey, and a lot of them do uh, are very much aware of, of the political situation, and they stay abreast of it because it determines where they go and when they go. Um, so there could potentially be a rise, but as you can imagine, uh, there will be a reactionary measure from, of course, the UK government and border control as well. Thank you so much, uh, Lakwe Olario. Yeah, that's our rice correspondent from London monitoring this story.